All right. Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to today's training. Thanks for coming. Just going to say a few brief words, um, welcoming everyone. So my name is Karen. I'm one of the NISAR mission application leads. Um, and uh, the other names below here are the other members of our applications team. So I just wanted to share really quick with this group um, in case you weren't aware that we have a lot of open source, open data resources. So since NISAR has not launched yet, we don't have actual data, but we have uh, sample data available on our website and the Airborne UAV SAR team also has sample data sets. Um, if you're familiar with the ICE data set, that's an open source software. It's a process NSAR data. Um, there's Jupyter Notebooks on our GitLab uh, from our CalVal teams, I believe is what that is. And ASF, of course, has lots of um, great resources as well, including um, ways to bring in the NICER sample data to GIS environments. So I will copy some of these links and put them in the chat. Um, but wanted to make you aware of those. And one other thing is uh, we're all early adopters here, but if you know of colleagues or other people who want to join um, this group and attend trainings like this, we're still accepting applications. So please feel free to share um, this application with them. So I'll, I'll put this link in the chat too. And I'll put my email as well. So just want to say also thank you to ASF uh, for organizing this and I'm sure today will be a great training. Thank you. Okay, terrific. Thank you, Karen. Uh, everyone, welcome to the workshop. I'm going to give a short introduction. I'm Sargent, the product owner for Open Science Lab at ASF, which is the team behind Open SAR Lab, the Jupyter Hub that you'll be using today. If you haven't already set up an OSL account, please do so now. Um, in addition to these QR codes, we're going to put the detailed agenda into the chat. And at the bottom of that document is a link to the step-by-step -step instructions. Uh, so first you need to create an Open Science Lab account and then request access to Open SAR Lab. Uh, we have engineers on hand to uh, answer any questions and process your requests. If you have questions, please put them into the early adopters Slack channel, uh, not the chat or uh, this call, um, if you can. If you don't have access to the Slack, then by all means use the chat. Um, but we would like to direct as much traffic to the Slack channel as we can. Uh, first, I'd like to thank Kathleen Jones and Wade Albright. Kathleen is a uh, senior research scientist at JPL and the lead for the Early Adopters Program. Uh, and Wade is the director of ASF. If you don't, if you don't know uh, what ASF is, uh, that's the Alaska Satellite Facility, a NASA DAC, and the DAC that handles SAR data. So when you access NISAR data in the future, it will be through ASF. Uh, we've worked with Kathleen for a couple of years now to provide uh, workshops um, in preparation for the NISAR launch. And uh, she identified a gap in our training materials. We didn't have step-by-step -step instruction for folks who are moving their work to the cloud. Um, and that is the uh, topic of this workshop. Um, and Wade is the person who provided the resources that makes this workshop possible. So again, thank you to Kathleen and Wade for their leadership and support. In addition, uh, I'd like to thank Karen and Elodie McCorps, uh, two uh, mission applications leads uh, uh, on the early adopters team. Uh, they've been doing the coordinating on your side, um, working with the participants, um, and they've been fantastic. Um, I'd also like to thank Elizabeth Boncher uh, at NASA Impact 
who has provided space act agreement credits uh, to support uh, your open SAR lab use during this workshop and for a period of time afterward. Um, but most of all, I'd like to thank Drew Kittle at NASA Estes. He's the person who secures resources that makes it possible for us to uh, uh, provide uh, OSL um, access to people around the world. Um, so with the resources from Elizabeth, uh, we have, uh, we have uh, credits to provide access uh, for a period of time but thanks to Drew, we have uh, the resources uh, necessary to provide access for you uh, to OSL indefinitely. And these are our presenters for today and tomorrow. Uh, Alex Lewandowski and Dylan Palmieri are software engineers on the Open Science Lab team at ASF. They'll be presenting today. And uh, Joseph Kennedy, a staff scientist at ASF, will be presenting tomorrow. Uh, they're all experts, uh, fantastic presenters, and they have provided some really great material for, for, for us uh, today and tomorrow. Uh, here's the agenda. Again, if you follow the link in the chat, um, the detailed agenda has uh, times for each session and additional information for many of these sessions. Uh, notice at the bottom of each day is open Q&A. Um, if you have questions during the presentations, uh, you're welcome to ask, uh, ask your questions in the Slack channel or in the chat, and we'll answer them uh, as we go.